Hey YouTube, how's it going? Yak Science here with another OCHEM video. The topic today is going to be epoxidation via MCPBA or metachloroperoxybenzoic acid. Basically what it involves is we have an alkene, we're going to react it with MCPBA and CH2Cl2, which is a solvent commonly used in this reaction, and we get an epoxide. Remember an epoxide is a cyclic ether, so we have two carbons forming a closed ring with an oxygen. Uh, so let's talk about the mechanism. To understand the mechanism, you have to memorize, unfortunately, the structure of MCPBA, which could be a little daunting, but I highly recommend just redrawing the structure two, three times, and you should have it down pretty quickly. So let's dive in. All right, so this is the structure of MCPBA. You have H, O, O, ketone, benzene, and then a chlorine. So let's just go over the mechanism, how these two interact to form an epoxide. First things first, you're going to draw an arrow from the pi bond to this oxygen right here. As this OH bond uh, attacks, you could call it attacks, this carbon right here. You're going to draw an arrow from that bond to the carbon. Next, you're going to collapse this OO bond by moving an arrow from that bond to this bond. And then you're going to grab this hydrogen from the pi bond in the ketone. All right, so far so good. And that's really it, honestly. It's four arrows, you know, not too bad to memorize. And that really does get us to the epoxide product. Uh, you do get a side product, obviously, because there's no chlorine in this product and there's chlorine here. There's got to be a side product. Plus, there's no benzene here either. So the side product looks like this. All right, so this is what the side product looks like. You can almost think of it as MCPBA minus this part, right? Because, and you have this oxygen, uh, with an added hydrogen now. Other than that, it's basically this part of MCPBA is the side product. I'm just gonna write that. Side, side product. All right, and now just last but not least, let's talk about regio and stereospecificity. Is this regio specific? Uh, the answer is technically no, because both carbons are bonded to this oxygen, so there's no like one specific carbon that gets the oxygen, it's, it's shared, right? It's a closed ring. So let's say no to regiospecific. Now, in terms of stereospecificity, the answer is yes, and it's sin. So notice um, these are two uh, sticks, right? It's not come; it, it's in the plane of the page. So both of these are in the plane of the page, which means they are sin to each other, even though it's a closed ring, uh, and it is sin addition. All right, so that's epoxidation, and I really hope that helped.